want to build your first data dashboard fast in this video i will show you exactly how to create a working hmi using ignition vision by inductive automation by the end of this video we will develop a working hmi make this happen and this is a beginner friendly video so we'll start from the basics so without getting any delay let's dive into the video creating new vision project so and we do that by opening our ignition gateway uh, there are two ways you could open the ignition gateway you could either use your local host or if you know the ip address of the gateway i'm going to use the ip address of the gateway it is 192.168.1.99 colon 8088 once we are in the gateway go to config go to config page login Once you're logged in, go to the config page and scroll to projects. And in projects, you could create new project. And we'll just call it uh, my first HMI. You could give a description. Uh, you could give a title for this uh, my first HMI. Parent project none. This connections for the user source this is critical uh, ensure make sure you select this as default what this would do is this will go to the default user username source and so that you could log in to the hmi and we hit save so now the project is created in the gateway now we will launch the designer and open the new project so to launch the designer uh, if you already have designer installed you could uh, open it or you could get designer here I already have a designer installed so we'll go ahead and double click the designer icon on the desktop. Once I have the uh, designer launcher I have two options I could use the 192.168 option or I could use the local option. The 192.168 the IP address option will help you if you want to launch it on a remote terminal. Say if your gateway is on a production server which is on level 2 and you want to launch this uh, using IP address we can use this one. For now, everything is on the same PC, so it doesn't matter. But in production environment, typically this would be on a level level three uh, HMI scatter level. So we we need to ensure the designer has a network connection to that server. So right now, I'm just using 192.168.1.99. Open the designer, and we log in to the designer, and you could see. Our project showed up here. We select my first CADA and we open that. Once the designer is op uh, opened up, this is how the designer looks like. We have two options. We could create a vision or perspective. We'll talk more in detail about uh, vision versus, versus perspective. Perspective is more mobile friendly and it's a web layout, whereas vision is mostly for running it on a dedicated terminals. For this video, we'll just keep it simple and do vision and we create a main window to create a main window we come in here and call it uh, i like numbering uh, 01 main window and we say create so what this will do is this will create a window named main window okay and we can add a label in the main window we just want to create a label called welcome to ready controls and if you want to add any uh, image you could always come back here and put a image button you could put that image and you could size the image and you could double click it and it will go to the image browser if you can drag and drop the picture it will show up like this and you could adjust the size so so for this demo we just say the main screen is main window is just welcome to ready controls and we'll add two buttons which will act as uh, go to going to the next screen so we'll go ahead and create the screen first and to create one more screen we just go to the window here main window and we say screen number to machine overview create window and in this overview we'll just create we'll just add a label and we call 
call that label as machine machine overview and we'll add a LED display onto that and we will bind it to a tag you can bind it to a PLC tag but just for uh, demo purpose I'll just bind, bind it to the simulator tags which uh, Ignition already has some and we can add um, a tank and double click it go to tag and you could bind it to say ramp 3 so you could add as, as whatever the application needs it but the purpose is just to show you how to create your first application so now we have two screens now we just need to provide some navigation bar which will let us go to the next screen so I'll show you how to do that and to do that we go back here and you could do if you want to find something you could always uh, always come back here and do button so and it will show you a button and you could drag and drop the button here and you could size it and you can in the text you go back all the way to the text of that button and you say uh, machine overview all right so and you double click this button when you click this button the action performed uh, scripting window have, comes up the component scripting here you could say open and you could do a machine overview and you could also pass parameters and we'll go into the details in next video but yeah that's how you say okay there it comes up and then we go back we can copy paste this guy copy go back to machine overview control v here and we can call this one as yeah, let me change the label first this one to main and double click this one and you could select main window apply okay so we'll just make this uh, all caps from a consistency standpoint all right so that's it uh, we created two screens a main screen and a machine overview screen let's see what's happening here okay so it's not Data to do negative, so we'll just do that. All right, just for the demo. So now is that you created two screens. This is our first project, so we'll keep it simple. So we'll go ahead and save this project. Okay. To see how this um, project, uh, this screen looks like, you could switch to preview mode. This is that play button. If you switch to preview mode, this is how it works. The when I click the machine overview, it will go to this display and when I click the main screen, it will go back to the other screen. So now we completed this testing, we'll go ahead and save this project. Okay. And close the designer. Save and exit. Okay. And now we go back to our vision client launcher. an application to our uh, so we'll go ahead and add application and it will go back and ask uh, which gateway we want to use we will use the IP address one and we select that gateway and then my first HMI is up here and we select that one add application and we select my first HMI open application it will connect to the gateway it does the verification of the vision client and it's opening the application we use our yeah once we log in the your HMI your first HMI is up and running as your welcome screen and then you go to the machine overview screen which has which displays some tags and then we go back so that's it just like that you build your first SCADA screen using HMI vision next up we'll try to build the same one in ignition perspective so 
it works in a browser and on mobile devices if this helped you please hit that like button subscribe and let me know in comments what else you would like to build in skater thank you